Hello, my name is Emily Applin, and I'm exploring the art of Janine and Tony. And Tony was born in this Freeport, piece is Lick and Lather, in finished in 1993. Her work is shown nationally and seven chocolate. She has exhibited at several well known This piece, as she explains, is about conflict between loving acts such as eating and bathing, but also erasing herself in the process. She licked the chocolate bus and bathed with soap bus to give each distinct form. This next piece is Null, completed in 1992. One block of 600 pounds of chocolate and the other is 600 pounds of lard. She chewed off pieces from each one to turn into something else, which you will see on the next page. This is the outcome of the chewed portion. She has created lipstick with the chewed lard, and she has made chocolate heart-shaped cases. It was estimated she made around 40 of the chocolate cases. This piece is Butterfly Kisses, made in 1996 through 1999. She used mascara on her eyelashes and blinked 1,254 times with each eye against two sheets of paper, leaving delicate impressions on the surface. This piece is Loving Care from 1993. This piece is inspired by her mother when she used to mop the kitchen. Antoni dips her hair in a bucket of dark dye and swishes her hair in a figure eight form on the floor. This piece is called Saddle of 2000. She used her body as a casting mold under wet cowhide. She explains that this is her approach to the problematic perception of women as the weaker sex. This piece is more. Antoni taught herself how to make a rope using donated personal items from family and friends, thus creating a lifeline connecting all the people throughout her life into a unified whole. This piece is Touch. It is a video of Antoni walking on a tightrope, which she had to learn how to do. The rope was placed on the horizon of the ocean in the Bahamas where she used to live. It gives the effect of walking on water. This piece is to draw a line. The rope is suspended between two industrial schools. On one end of the rope is a woven into a ladder, which ends in an unraveled mess underneath the rope. And Tony then climbed up the ladder and walked across the rope and stopped in the middle until she fell into the unwoven pile. This piece is tear. On the wall is an 11 foot projection of her eye on the ground and a two ton lead wrecking ball that had been knocked down a building leaving the indentions. The sound of the ball crashing against the building is synchronized to the blinking eye. This piece is in habit and Tony is wearing the dollhouse as a skirt which symbolizes the mother wearing the family drama. She took this photo in her daughter's room after exploring the relationship of her family. This piece is Slumber. Slumber was a performance of Antoni using her patterns of her fast eye movements during dream activity. She creates the same pattern in an endless blanket she uses making from her torn nightgown. This piece is Cradle. The base is a two-ton steel tractor bucket with a successive pieces on top of it until it reaches a baby spoon. This piece is Mom and Dad. She worked with prosthetic makeup and wigs, making her father look like her mother and vice versa. She photographed them together. When she finished the photographs, she decided it was another self-portrait because she is biologically composite of the two. This piece is umbilical. It demonstrates the complex relationship between a mother and a child. Antoni casts the inside of her mouth on the end of a silver spoon 
and on the other end is the open space within her mother's hand as it holds the spoon. This piece is Honey Baby. It consists of a moving image of a nude man in a tight circular space. There is a yellow backlight and it rotates in gestures as if submerged in fluid. She is trying to resemble a fetus in a utero. This piece is crowned. Antoni acquired pelvic bones from a medical supply company. Antoni used the plaster pelvic bones to replace the crown molding of the chair ring. This piece is mortar and pestle. This is Antoni's tongue on her husband's eye. This piece resembles the nature of relationships. By keeping the eye open, it shows trust and intimacy between the two. This last piece is If I Die Before I Wake. It is a porcelain nightlight of a mother and a daughter's hands joined together for the night's prayer. And this concludes my presentation of Janine Antonio.